Hey guys, it's Dr. J here. Welcome back. In the previous video, you will recall we wrote some JavaScript here, and this JavaScript helped with the functionality of this button called change color. And when we clicked on the change color button, it changed the color of this H3 heading to red. In this video, we're now going to code the Greet Me button. And when I click on this button, it's going to take the name that the user types in here. It's going to type the word hello, and it's going to display that particular name. So we're going to try to write the Java code, the JavaScript code, in order to achieve this task. Uh, remember that this is the code we are using for the greeting example. So that's the greeting example here. That's where this H3 heading is coming from. We have a label. The label refers to this, enter your name. We have an input box here. That's my input box. It's the ID for that input box is name. We have another button, and that's the greet me button. And the ID there is greet dash button. Uh, we also have a div tag. And the div tag is just a container, a placeholder. Uh, and we're going to use this placeholder to display our message. So let's look at the JavaScript code that we will need to write. I'm just going to make some space at the bottom here. And this is where we'll go about writing our code. As we did in the first example, we need to create these variables. These variables are important. The variables create a link between the JavaScript and the HTML section. So we need to create that link as we start coding the Greet Me button. So the first variable that I'm going to create here is a variable called greet button. And you'll notice the get element ID is greet dash button. And that links to the button here that we've created in the HTML. Uh, so now I've got a variable to work with. Uh, when I'm writing my JavaScript. So that's the first link that I'm creating between my JavaScript and my HTML. The second one is for name. And if you look very carefully, the ID link for name is this, and this relates to my text box. So that is the text box. And my variable that I've created is called name input. So when I refer in my JavaScript to name input, I'm actually going to be referring to the text box. The next link we create is for the div. And with the div, uh, you will see that it's a greeting, get element ID greeting, and that is the div tag uh, for my greeting. And that's where the output is going to take place. Somebody could be thinking, but because these are all the variables that I will be creating. The question is, do I need a variable to link to the label? And the answer there is no. We don't need any variable to link to the label. And the reason for that is the label is an output message, and I'm not referring to it in my JavaScript code. I will be referring to the text box. I will be referring to the button. And there is a non-visual container for my output. Uh, and that's the div tag. And I will be referring to that. So all the things that I refer to, I create variables for that. OK, so moving on. Now let's put everything together. Let's put everything together. Let's just resize this so you can see that better. 
Uh, and it's all about the button. I'm coding my greet me button. And greet button, again, refers to that variable. Uh, that's my button. I'm adding an event listener. And when that button is clicked, right, remember two parameters, the comma is what separates the parameters. So the first parameter is the event, which is a click. The second parameter is the function uh, that's going to execute the task. So what am I doing in this function? Let's look at this closer. Inside of the function, uh, I'm now getting the value. If I look at the right-hand side, I'm saying name input, remember, name input is linked to the text box. That's linked to the text box. Dot value refers to the property value where it gets whatever the user types in. And I'm storing this in another variable called name. So whatever is being typed in the textbook, sorry, in the text box is going to be stored in another variable called name. I then go to the greeting div and greeting div is that div tag that we had in the HTML. I use the property inner HTML and I'm displaying the word hello together with name and name refers to that variable uh, that's holding the value that the user would have typed. So it's then going to display hello and the name typed in that particular text box. So let's demonstrate this and let's see how, how that works. So if I type in the name Tigger and I click on greet me, you will see that it says hello Tigger. Uh, the value that was typed is obtained from that line, whatever is typed that is stored in the variable called name. And then using the inner HTML tag and the div. So here, this is a non-visual component. When I use it with inner HTML, it then displays the value typed together with hello. So this is how we create different types of interactivity uh, using JavaScript, if you will remember change color, changed the color of that heading to red. I hope you're getting some idea of how you can now use JavaScript by first creating variables that link to your HTML. And then uh, in the instance of a button, you write a function which has an add event listener and you write some code within the function for the on-click event. I hope this video helps you and you can now start creating JavaScript for HTML. Till the next video, take care. Bye.